The winners of the Hippocrates Prize for Poetry and Medicine were announced by the judges in London on the 22nd of May. The prize for the Young Poets category was judged by poet Simon Ray. It's been my great privilege to be the judge of a really fantastic set of poems sent in from all around the world. Um, I'm thrilled a bit that we have two of our uh, four overall winners with us today. I'm really looking forward to hearing them read their wonderful poems. Um, the two that aren't here, um, we're going to hear them read through the wonders of um, technology. Fortunately, I'm not involved in pressing any of the buttons relating to that. Um, and um, then later, um, you will be able to study the poems, and they certainly deserve um, second hearing and further hearings in the anthology that will be available outside. Um, what I would say, I haven't got a great deal to say, um, given that I'm not um, going to give a lecture on, on the poems. Um, what I would say is that the best of them are not young people's poems, they're poems that happen to have been written by young people. Um, they do, of course, have a great liveliness and energy, but they have a tremendous maturity in the use of words image um, and a confidence which I found really truly staggering um, and it was quite a battle to winnow out um, the four sort of top poems um, and the um, sort of also rounds were very very good also rounds um, but I think I got it right I had a um, 20 minute moment on the train I got it right, but I, I, I reread them all, and I'm fairly confident in my judgment. So, without further ado, I'm going to um, read out the names of those um, who wrote commended poems, um, and uh, these are in alphabetical order. Um, the light isn't very good, so if I get someone's name wrong, my apologies. Molly Garbutt of Tenbury Wells. Um, for a poem, Crystal Violet. Ira Murphy, if I pronounce Ira right, um, of Liverpool, another Liverpool connection. Um, Leonardo da Vinci's Study of a Womb, which is a terrifically sophisticated poem, really very impressive. And then she snuck in with another one, um, Migra. Um, very different, very different poem, um, but equally good. Talin Tahajin. Cambridge wrote Surgical Ward with Hundreds of Tiny Lights, and Alethea Wang of Verdun, Quebec, Canada wrote Child with a Bowler. Um, one of the things I perhaps might say is that some of the poems were obviously written from personal experience, and some of them, obviously, that one was not. But I think one of the impressive things about our young poets was how they were prepared to cast their imaginations um, far and wide and, and bring back wonderful discoveries. And that is certainly a very good one. And then, in a special category all of its own, the Honourable Mention. Um, there probably is something called the Honourable Mention, but um, anyway. Uh, <coughs> this this guy is called Charlie Devon um, from Arrington and Royston. Um, and the anti-penultimate and penultimate lines of his poem, which is called Dad, um, I enjoy very much as a dad myself. Um, his dog was a black bush and his heart was a bus. <laughs> and my dog is a black bush, but badly behaved one. And if my kids think that would be, I'd be pleased. Right, now we move on to the uh, short list. And we're going to take it in um, alphabetical order. Danny Cuccini um, of Warwick is going to read her poem, The Surgeon Dissects His Lover First. So Danny, if you'd like to come up. The Surgeon Dissects His Lover. Here I bear her quiet symphony. 
Each nerve a stilled shiver of violin string, the fluted tendons, the blood's insular percussion. Tempo down, bradycardic. God bless this constancy of music, this slow web of flowers, thallium's thick bloom on the cardio scan. See how much you love me, her heart's carbonized sonnet closely knit between slabs of meat. Down to the marrow, she is more than herself. She is more than sequined brittleness, more than the eyes I could take, the flesh readied for dicing. She is the wrought linen beneath my mouth, the soft within the softer, this choreographed mess of warmth, and I will not thank God for her. I will thank sepsis, embolism, Every white that flushes the red out bolder, every knife that shyly yearns to kiss her. Bring me my bow of steel, my quiver of black roses. There is no song not left sweeter in the jaws of its end, in the call of its closure. Now, our next poet has uh, um, come all the way from America. Um, he just has that. Uh, uh, cool um, place of residence in New York City. And um, his poem is wonderful. So if Alex Greenberg would like to come up. Um... Dusting. In the weeks before your death, your hands left darker prints on the furniture. Instead of calling you back to take them, I sat in your chair at the table and lined my fingers up against the silhouettes of yours. Let me wear your shadow for the rest of your time here, relieve you of that burden, so that your touch doesn't shut the hive of the blackberry, nor dry out its purple rain. Wednesday brought the first presage of what was to come. Every cough brought you lurching forward like a fishing rod under the sudden weight of your catch. And when your grandson kissed your hand, it took days for the blood to recirculate. Somebody kept your straws in a bag, chewed through and dripping. They remind me of the x-ray the doctor dropped off last week of your lung. Four copies lined up against the windowsill in hope that the evening breeze might inspire it. From now on, I ask the doctor to hold his breath when he passes by our house. I do the same when I pass by the cemetery where you now lie. And now we're going to hear from Alexandra Spensley from Ohio, also in the USA, Geography of a Bone. My name is Alexandra Spensley and I'm from Ohio, USA. I will be reading Geography of a Bone, which was inspired by a compound fracture of my left arm when I was 11. This poem attempts to communicate a sense of unnatural discovery and the subsequent feelings of mortality this evokes, as well as the otherworldly quality of surgery itself. Geography of a Bone. Under surgeon's palms, my body is a gate left unlocked, one wrist pried apart like a door forced open. These scalpels turn my arm into an atlas, learn my flesh's secrets better than I know them myself. Sheets of muscle and vein peeled back and pinned, ocean lifted from the shore, lips pulled back in a yawn. Consider the radial bone, white wires snapped and taut, Muscles slipped open. Consider skin. Layers splayed against the doctor's damp butcher paper like butterfly wings stabbed across cork boards. An anatomy exhibition. Over an operating table frosted with shadow, men playing God lead me through a trial run with death. My outstretched arm lies limp as something forgotten. A corpse's limb rendered soft and surgical. Breathe me anesthesia. I'll wake with a heavy tongue, teeth thick and sore from the pills I swallow like grapes. 
overripe and swollen as the ones I picked with an arm once whole. Now scars lie aching and raw, dripping blood like wax. This line of stitches a new zipper in my body, the sutures mottled and red, skinned outward like petals from a flower. I wait for the nurse to peel back the cotton, show me a hospital topography mapped upon my flesh. My left arm a string of bruises, the open wound sealed with an envelope of throbbing tissue. The gate now locked, the door pushed shut, a hinge of scars fastening the bone once revealed. Thank you. Well, I was invited to judge this section of the Hippocrates Prize, I was told to come up with a winner. Um, I think all the people that we've heard of this, this, this evening are winners. But the overall winner is um, this poem, which we're about to hear, um, called Intraocular Pressure. Hi, my name is Teresa Thetmancorn, and this is my poem, Intraocular Pressure. One, my sister teaches me to sharpen my mouth with words that darken. Fat man, little boy, imagine the electric blue of a desert, the red, the white, how they press bruises into veined eyelids. Near Alamo Gordo, we sip sangria until static fades to black. Two, she inspects the eyeball like a buoy, socket like a fish strangled on salt, body like an oil slick. The wooden boat leaks blood. The sea is grated pomegranate through my eyes. There is no criminal, no captain, no one who holds my head under a current until it explodes. Cut glass means vandalism, cut eye means x-ray diagrams, sleeping under a scalpel, under calcium, kelp. Three. A boulder, a fuse, a mother in black, a girl underneath the stone. I draw the chart in sand. The eye as a bomb, ticking. Radiation seeping from the stitches. My sister imports shoulders, handrails, sunglasses. Here is a part where I am twisted here is the part where there is no light at the end of the tunnel, where I pick a nose, a mouth, titanium ears from a treasure chest. Thank you. The Hippocrates Prize is an annual award with a deadline of the 31st of January. The award is for an unpublished poem in English on a medical theme with up to 50 lines of text. There is an Open International Award First Prize £5,000, an NHS Award also First Prize £5,000, and an International Young Poet category with a prize of £500. You can find out more about the Hippocrates Prize and order an anthology of previous winning and commended poems through our website, hippocrates-poetry.org.